the advent of power steering systems has revolutionized the steering effort on the part of the driver. But at the same time, the need for creating interactive real-time safety systems becomes essential. So it is very critical to develop smart systems capable of providing onboard guidance come assistance to the driver. The intent of this project is to develop a steering system test rig for development of a comprehensive fault diagnosis system. The motive is to induce different faults into a healthy system and record subsequent response patterns to create an exhaustive fault recognition system which can help in identifying the malfunctioning unit, predict potential causes and render the performance of the system optimal. The test rig is a robust steel framework on which the hydraulic steering system, loading mechanism and pair of car wheels are mounted. These are further integrated with the driving mechanism. Provision of adequate supports at critical locations ensure that the system doesn't exercise vibrations at the operating speed range. The loading system consists of a square threaded load screw which distributes equal loads on the two wheels via a horizontal load plate. The second part of the structure pertains to the driving mechanism which has been grouted separately. This part includes the roller, the shaft and the pulley driven by a motor. An AC motor of 20 horsepower, 440 volts and operating at 1400 rpm is used to drive the roller assembly. The motor chosen in the present case is capable of running the system at 80 km per hour under a loading of 450 kg. The various components of a power steering system are mounted on the main structure. A motor of half horsepower is used to drive the power steering pump and oil is fed to the steering system through the reservoir. The sensors are the most important component of the test rig. These are basically Mexico bonds, potentiometer based sensors. One of the sensor is used for measuring the steering input angle. Two of these sensors are mounted on the two wheels to measure the output deflection. One on the right wheel, the other one on the left wheel. A torque sensor is mounted on the steering rod which measures the input steering torque. A load cell is placed beneath the lead screw to measure the load applied on the system. The data acquisition system, which is essentially an NIDAC card, receives the data from each of the FOZ sensors and feeds this data into a computer system. These voltage values are then calibrated and visualization is facilitated through LabVIEW Virtual Instruments 10.0 software. The pulleys of the roller assembly and the motor are coupled using a twin V-belt pulley. The motor once started drives the roller through the belt pulley system. The roller further rotates the wheels which are held in contact with This can now be perceived as a simulation of a normal running car and various tests can be carried out on the rig. Now the user rotates the steering wheel and the corresponding readings of all the sensors can be obtained for various unhealthy and faulty systems. A database of these readings is formulated for achieving the goals of the project. The common faults that can be analyzed on this system are oil leakage, piston ring damage, rag bend and steering death wobble. The future scope of this test trick involves development of a smart onboard device which would scrutinize the input steering parameters and corresponding response behavior of the steering system and compare it with the database collected from the rig test and finally identifies the fault present in the system and conveys it to the user.